This loaf of bread hopes you enjoy this video. What's a really awkward situation that everyone can relate with when you start to tell a story in a group but in middle of sentence realize that no one is actually listening and ever so slowly you get quiet and hope no one took notice. Whenever I noticed that happening I specifically look the person telling the story in the eyes like it's fine just pretend you were only telling the story to me all along. I try to be that person too but it backfires because I'm not the person that they wanted to listen to them so they just stop telling the story anyway. Feels bad when they don't realize that you were getting quiet, at first you think good, nobody noticed, but seconds later you start to feel bad that nobody was really paying attention to you, not even hearing that you were making noises and that feels awful. And then someone says I'm listening, go on and you wanna hug them. When you've had multiple interactions with someone, but you can't remember their name, but it's gone too far to admit you've forgotten it, so you just have to call them love or mate forever. I have a trick for this. Start being more loving to them, eventually getting into relationship. As this moves further, propose and they'll say yes, and then when you're getting married, wait till the pastor turns and says, and will you person's name, marry your name, and boom you now know their name. What if we're having sass, and she tells me to say her name? No no no, you misunderstand. This is why sass comes after marriage. Standing there while two people talk about something you don't know about. Even worse when you're wanting to leave the conversation, but feel like you need to have an excuse to leave. I have to poop and giggle. Let them figure out which is more awkward. I think you misunderstood the term for shut and giggles. When you're walking past Kaoka, and you've already said hello earlier, everyone's making that weird flat smile. That walk down a long hallway toward each other where you've clearly seen the other person, but they are too far away to say something. So you do the awkward look around, until you get close enough to say hey and keep walking. You say bye to them, and then head to walk into the same direction, glance at each other, and give an awkward smile. The longest walk. Saying hello or how are you to somebody and getting 100% ignored. Worse when someone else you know is there too and notices you getting ignored. That's when I just say good talk. Helps me feel like I save face just a bit. When you're finishing up at the checkout and the cashier puts the notes on top of the receipt and then coins on top of that. Then the next person steps up and you're fumbling, trying to disassemble the stack in your hand. Gather your shopping, say thanks and move away at the same time. In the UK it's extra sucky because you bag your groceries yourself. If you aren't quick enough you have to do all of what you mentioned as well as quickly finish the packing while everyone stares at you waiting for you to hurry. When I was a cashier I made it a point to hand them their coin, wait, hand them their currency and unless requested otherwise, I would put the receipt in the bag for this very reason. Being at a friend's house as a kid and the friend's mother starts yelling at your friend. Being at a friend's house as a kid and the friend's father walks in only wearing underwear. The opposite as well. Having a friend over and your parents do this. Or worse, your parents try involve your friend in the argument asking them if they would do that slash would their parents put up with it. So ducked up. My mom would do that. She would also try to manipulate my best friend into taking her side slash making me do the thing that my mom wanted me to do. To this day my best friend will still tell people that my mom is crazy. That awkward moment where you and somebody else try to let each other speak but you both try speak at the same time and just keep failing. That would be a Skype slash Teams moment. It's happened to us countless times. Especially since we are all now working from home. Sorry go ahead. Silence. When you think someone waves at you, so you wave back, but they were waving at someone behind you. Just pretend you wave at someone behind them, then the person behind them would wave back at you, but you should pretend to wave at the person behind them, and so on and so forth, until everyone is uncomfortable and just go home. Not long ago at church we were asked to turn and greet people. I turned around, and the guy said hi to me, and stuck his hand out to shake. I went for it, and realized he was talking to the woman beside me. She and I both ended up with a hand in his hand at the same time trying to shake it. They both looked at me, and I quickly turned around, and pretended it didn't happen, which made it more awkward. And then rest of the service I couldn't stop laughing about it. This is standard for me. You ever clogged a toilet in somewhere that wasn't your house? Oh man, 
I show up to pick her up for our first date. I asked if I could use her toilet before we left and only had to pee. Speaking of, why the hell doesn't everyone have a plunger? It's a common item and there really isn't a reason not to have one. Most people I know have the logic that because clogs rarely happen they don't bother buying a plunger. That's like not putting an alarm in a bank because people barely break into banks nowadays. When you try to contribute to a conversation and someone cuts you off multiple times and you patiently wait for your turn to speak, even though it already was, but by the time the air is clear, the subject has already changed, and what you were going to say is now irrelevant. I used to be a habitual cutter offer when I was younger. I wasn't trying to be rude, I was just excited for what I had to say. I've reformed that behavior now, but if I notice this happening to someone else, I'll make sure to call attention to the person trying to talk. What was that John? or something along those lines, to make sure everyone is heard. When you walk out of the store empty handed, feeling like you've just stole something. It's worse if you make eye contact with the cashier, or worse, the security guy, and you went in the store with a bag from another one, you know it, and I know it, you should go to jail. Walking through a doorway, only to catch your clothes on the handle, and have it slingshot you backwards. Happens only when you're angry. Same with trying to slam a door out of anger and it somehow gets magically slowed by the air resistance and it just closes a little harder than normal. Or the opposite, when you're having an argument, but you're actually not heated up, but decide to close the door and them for closes with the strength of a thousand suns. When you reply to a stranger who says hello, but then realize they were on the phone and not speaking to you. Happened to me just yesterday, and I didn't get any sleep last night as I couldn't stop reliving the moment. AirPods have made this one so much more common. It's really annoying, especially if you work in retail. Ever drag your shoe across a tile floor and have it make a loud, wet, fart sound, so everyone in the room looks at you? Then you insist it was your shoe and try to make the sound again, but nothing happens? Yeah, that. And leather couches. And then you try to keep moving around, to replicate it to show everyone that it's actually the couch but it never does. So you're just sitting there avoiding eye contact? No, never happened to me. When you say a funny joke but all you get is silence. I did this on a Zoom staff meeting yesterday. It was worse online, somehow. Now you're that guy in the office. When you're having a conversation with someone, and you don't hear what they say, so you ask them to repeat and they do. But you still don't hear it, and ask them to repeat again and they do, and you still don't know what they said. Do you ask them to repeat again, and maybe still not hear it? Pretend you heard it, and nod your head and hope it's an appropriate response? Stab yourself in the eye with a pen to create a diversion, and change the subject? Just laugh, say yeah and hope they didn't just tell you their dad just died. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Being called on to answer a question you really have no idea how to answer. I used to just say I don't know. Can't speak for you, but whenever I said I don't know my teachers would go on a rant and say something like why don't you know, you should know, or the old classic at least try. And then when I try, I say something stupid and everyone starts laughing, and the teacher says that's not right. God bless I'm not in school anymore. When you're walking, and almost trip for no reason, and look back at the invisible stick that you tripped on. When you go for a hug, but the other person goes for a handshake, so you start with a handshake, but do a weird hug at the same time with your hands in each other's crotches. I just skip all that and go right for the crotch. When someone asks what's going on, and you respond good, you? How are you? I'm fine. What about you? Great. You? The fake smile on your face when you receive a terrible gift. Wanted the Smash Mouth CD with All Star on it when I was a kid. My aunt wound up getting me the Len CD with Steal My Sunshine on it. Apparently I hadn't heard the song yet back then, even though it was all over the radio. My disappointment was immeasurable and my day was ruined. I faked a half smile. Decades later I love Steal My Sunshine and I should have been happy. Watching a sass scene with your parents. Visited my aunt and uncle 7 years ago and we were hanging out watching TV. My uncle clicks through channels and stops on Herald and Humor Escape from Guantanamo Bay. Within minutes it's the shaved kitty party scene. My aunt and uncle sit there in silence watching not saying anything until the scene is over while I sweat bullets. 
If you put an acorn between my butt cheeks I could have cracked it. A few months ago I visit again. Uncle flips through channels. It's Starship Troopers. Within minutes it's assass scene and the book is a route. I'm not visiting anymore. Someone showing everyone in the group something on their phone and waiting until it is your turn. Even worse if it never makes it to you and you have to pretend you're not secretly dying to know what it is. When you're walking on a sidewalk with two other friends and you're the person that does not fit, so you have to stay behind them. When you're walking behind someone that has a slightly slower pace than you, so you start to pass them, but then have that awkward moment when you're walking next to them before you cut in front of them. Having happy birthday sung to you. When you're on a public bathroom and someone tries to open the door even though it's locked. The worst is when you say it's occupied and then they try opening it even harder. Or when they gaze at you through the 1 cm gap between the door and partition. I never lock the door. This is a great way to meet new people.